Hi there, uh, my name is Richard Black. I'm a bailiff at Seven Lakes. Um, I've been a, a bailiff here now for probably just over a year or so. Um, today is about mental health awareness. Um, we've, <laughs> we've all been in lockdown and some of the strongest people I know have, have suffered with slight mental health and anxiety through this period. So sport I found is one of the best things and what better than a bit of fishing? <laughs>
Yeah, I, I think really like the coaching sessions that they do here is probably key to getting started and learning. Um, if you don't know somebody who's already fishing, I mean that would be your ideal thing. Try and hook up with someone who's who's doing a lot of fishing that can teach you because there's so much to learn. Um, a lot of it you can magazines, videos, but you know proof is in the pudding. My my old mate Carly said to me, "You don't catch fish watching Sky TV." It's got to be catching the parrot at 40 odd pounds, you know. It's, um, it was the third time I caught it. But yeah, it just felt great to have that British 40 under your belt. And yeah, something I'll, I'll never forget. I'll never forget that run. I'll never forget the, the baiting campaigns in the weeks running up to it. I put a lot of bait in for a lot of weeks. Uh, middle of the night when it was busy. You know, I didn't want no one to know my spot. So I worked hard for that fish and I deserved it. What year was that? That would have been 2006. It's lovely, you do get to see humans pass by, a lot of dog walkers and stuff. Um, yeah, it's just a beautiful part of you know the, the countryside. You're right on the edge of the Thames Valley here. Um, which is why you don't get the weather rip through here quite as much because you're just on the edge of the Thames Valley so I find fishing here is a lot calmer weather wise compared to fishing a bit further down in the valley somewhere like waves in very open and when a storm rips through it rips through there I've, I've been in big storms but yeah I just I just love this area I've been brought up in this area um, it's got a lot of memories for me and a lot of good memories So uh, this is a new net that I've just purchased, it's the, the Gardener Barbel Spoon. In terms of fish, fish safety, it is absolutely fantastic. So if you're trying to release a fish back into the water, it's literally put him in, turn it over, and it comes through like that. You can release the fish nice and easy. Whereas when you get the triangle one, your big 42 inch net. I mean that's big enough for probably somewhere up to near a 30 pound carp. Definitely a good mid 20, high 20. But when you spin these they tend to, the fish keep swimming back and you can shake and do all you like. You'll end up, you'll have to either lean right down or whatever which if you've got a bad back and stuff is not good. But whereas like I say this one is just fantastic. Fish safety um, and it, it's, it's, it's cheap. All, all fish that are landed on seven lakes and, and pretty much all lakes across the country you need a, a good unhooking mat um, or a cradle something substantial to take a big carp in it's no good having one of these little little old school ones they're, they're not big enough you need something um, mine's like a dog bed shape it's got a flap you put over the fish's eye to stop him from getting too much light and flapping around and causing you a bit of grief on the bank but yeah fish safety is you know maximum for us we, we want to keep our fish safe we don't want deformed fish um, we want good looking fish and we've got that at seven lakes